This Sukkot, the Feast of Tabernacles, God came and tabernacled among us in a miraculous way. But sometimes before the miracle, He allows a test of faith. Like every year, we held a major outreach during the festival, but this time we sensed that God wanted us to specially emphasize the importance of prayer and worship during the outreach. So on the invitation for the outreach, we said to other believers, imagine if a hundred people from all the congregations in the area would come to pray that God will act powerfully and save. We believe He will indeed answer. But on the second day, things weren't looking so good. There was a lot of rain, and just an hour before the event, we thought maybe we will have to cancel. So we prayed, and since we were supposed to move ahead anyway, to our surprise, 90 believers showed up, the most we've had for any outreach. On the last day, there were even 100. We came together, Jews and Arabs, one new man in Messiah, and while some of us went out to share the gospel on the streets, others stayed and prayed. And God did wonders. Thousands of Israelis heard the gospel, and more were interested than we have ever seen before. Many took New Testaments and evangelistic material. Jesus healed people on the streets, and nine Israelis came to faith. As we were showing God's love practically, giving out lemonade, doing face painting, playing music, and all for free, many were touched, and a few even broke down in tears. One of the most moving moments was when a 93-year-old Holocaust survivor who had witnessed the horrors of Auschwitz heard the good news from an Arab pastor and a Messianic Jewish young lady. When he experienced God's love through them, he was open to their message and amazingly allowed us to pray for him in Jesus' name. Since the Day of Atonement had just happened a few days before that, we asked a religious Jewish man, how do you know for sure if you were forgiven on Yom Kippur? He answered, I'm not sure, I'm hoping. So we had an opportunity to explain how you can be certain of a forgiveness through a faith in Jesus and His atoning sacrifice for us. How interested he was? At the end, he said, I want to take a book to read more about this. Actually, give me a lot of books. We're so grateful for your prayers and support that have been an integral part of making all this happen. God is answering and moving in powerful ways, and we're getting closer to the day when all Israel will be saved. Find out more at treeoflifeisrael.org. Please partner with us in this harvest and get our newsletter with inspiring stories, new videos, and prayer points by clicking on the link in the description. Shalom from Israel. God bless.